Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Let's play. Uh, in the last episode, we unlocked the Dusty Dune Galaxy. In this episode, we're going to be starting it off. So, the Dusty Dune Galaxy, as its name would imply, is Mo Super Mario Galaxy's token desert level, as every Mario game has to have one. And, like the other ones in other Mario games, this one can get rather annoying. And the first reason for that is this red sand, or orangish sand, is a uh, instant death. If you fall in it, you can't escape it. Here we have some dry bones, which as any avid Mario player would be able to recognize, you can only kill them for a short period of time before they regenerate. So the best to just avoid is not really any way you can permanently deal with them. And over here we have these uh, tornadoes, which are the gimmick of this star and pretty much the entire Dusty Dune galaxy. Mario can enter them, spin the Wii remote, and turn into a propeller. And his arms look very scary when he's in this propeller state. Here you can easily just follow this tornado to get that one up, and then head over to the island with the green pipe. Now you'll end up here with some bricks if you just pound your way down. You eventually, hopefully, hit that. And if you pound down from here, if you, if I could jump, thank you, you end here with a whole bunch of uh, coins, well, bricks that give you coins, and these uh, like sand conveyor belts they make it hard to jump and move to the direction of. The direction opposite of the conveyor belt direction. And then, here, we have a uh, thwomp. Which you can jump on here. And here's this sand conveyor belt that came from the path that led down to here from the pipe that you could also have taken to get over here. And over here, there's a whole bunch of goodies. Like this star, as long as you don't get crushed, not star, one up, as long as you don't get crushed by the thwomps. This coin will, which will make some star bits appear. And a life room for good measure. So, following the uh, star bits, if you were curious, the uh, over here is just some more sand conveyor belts, some piranha plants. And a Goomba trying to hide from us under a protection of some bricks. But we can just pound through them and kill him, so. Now, I think this reddish orange sand is instant death if you jump in it. So, best to try to avoid that. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the thwomp to go. And then touching these two buttons will make some more star bits appear. And who doesn't need more star bits? However, these uh, stubbits don't have unlimited time, they are on a time limit. So you're going to want to travel around getting as many as you can before they run out of time like that. So. And up here we have a coin block of uh, pointless coins. Again, above that thwomp was a 1-up. It seems like every thwomp has a 1-up above them. And over here, you can jump up here, and up this guy, and that will give you a fire flower. Which is one of the few times in Mario Galaxy where a power up is actually used to kill, just to kill enemies, instead of as a puzzle item. In fact, that might be the only time, and I just got an email. Then, once you come over here, Indiana Jones style, a giant boulder will appear. But if you, oh god! Oh dip! What? Okay, last time this worked. Uh, I don't know why I didn't this time. Usually, I guess you have to hit the red part with a fire flower. But the last two times I tried this, I had a fail recording. And my practice one, uh, I hit it with a fire flower, and I guess I just got lucky and it hit the uh, red part. All right, so you can come over here for this block. And for some star bits, and then jump in this launch dome. Be prepared to get all these star bits as much as you can, because you're not going to get another chance to get them. 
Alright, so jumping into this launch jar will bring us to the final tower of this star. With these uh, strange chickens that like to drop bombs on Mario. I don't know what the chicken's enemy is named, just that it's annoying and I can't jump apparently. Thank you, game. And as I was saying, you just want to climb the tower using the uh, tornadoes. You can get another easy one up over here. Yeah, you can also hit the uh, chickens, but they're pretty much not worth it because you need a pretty accurate jump and spin. Alright, jump into this tornado. And you can climb up this uh, sand waterfall. Sandfall? It's like a sand waterfall. But sandfall doesn't sound right. And you can also fall down here for a hidden little lunch, well, sling star, which will propel you into that. And you want to get this coin to activate those two sling stars, which will propel you, if you get the right one at the right timing, into this tornado, which then brings you up to here. Grabbing that coin will give you some more star bits, and you can also look over here for this wall for even more star bits. Like that. I don't think that's how you're supposed to get these, but that's how I got them. Wait, there are more star bits down there. Alright. So I, I'm, I like the shiny star bits. I like shiny things. Don't judge me. Alright, so continuing on with the shiny star bits. We'll have another ledge with another question mark coin with even more star bits. Yeah, it's level X to give them out. And, uh... Hang on, I just noticed something. Can I jump off the back here? No, I can't. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a, like, a hidden platform, but there wasn't. I'm just going crazy. Alright, so... Gotta jump over here. Jump up here. Don't go off the edge there. Can be dangerous. Jump out of this. Jump up here. And these platforms will uh, just appear as soon as you touch them. And now we have the uh, final platform with the star. Spin the crystal twice, and here it's yours. And I didn't even need to move. Alright. So with that, our star total is brought up to 56. And we are that much closer to finally finishing the bedroom, which we've been in for like, I don't know, at least seven episodes. Oh hey, Hungry Luma. Awesome. I will save my game in case of another fail recording. But uh, back to the Dusty Dune for star number two. At least, the, the level of star number two. Blasting through the sand. Which I'm not really going to be doing quite yet. Instead, once I get control of Mario, Alright, yeah, we get it. There's lots of sand. Do you really need to show us every time I enter the galaxy? Alright. Here we have some, uh, pokey heads. That you're gonna wanna spin for a star bits instead of jumping on for a coin. For something in the next area of the level. I know I got hurt, but I need the star bits. Actually, I don't need them. Oh well, I'll grab them. After killing those five, a uh, actual pokey will appear. What you can do with this guy is you can either spin out his bottoms or just jump up and spin the head to kill it instantly. And he'll leave you five or six star bits. Alright, jump into this launch jar and you will land on this planet. Or well, this rock. Asteroid thing. I don't know what to call it. But here we have Hungry Luma. Yeah, we haven't seen a Hungry Luma in a uh, galaxy for a long time. I don't think. Like, at least since the kitchen dome. Alright, but he only takes 20 star bits, so he's rather easy. And then he'll transform into a uh, pyramid shaped planet with its top cut out. Well, actually, a double pyramid. And launching into that launch star 
will land Mario straight on that pipe, which will bring him into the interior of the pyramid. And here we have a collect the five silver stars challenge. And this one is rather annoying. I recommend heading up the left, well, the right first. Although you could also head up the left, it doesn't really matter, there's going to be one silver star on the path either way. You're going to want to make sure to take out these boxes whenever you see them, because they're going to get in the way later. And if you see a crystal, make sure you spin it, because there's going to be a uh, silver star on it. Alright, so, once you get to the top, with all these useless coins, which I feel the need to collect because I like coins, you're going to want to head down the left side, which looks big, but you actually want to head over here. I know there's a stall, or a silver stall over there, but you want to head down this side first, and you run into... Uh, no way, I think I did that wrong. I completely did. That was great. Alright. Sorry about that. I think I went down the same path I came out of. Oh well. This will be... It doesn't really matter which order you do them in. Actually, this way might even be faster than the way I've been doing it. It will be. Alright, cool. Um... So after getting those three, you want to head to, them to the right, where you can already see a crystal. Spin that for number four. Now what this path will usually do, is it will lead you to a, a dead end. But not like a dead end where you're going to get crushed, I mean it will lead you to a uh, green ball, or red ball, but you can't escape it, like this. Only there will be another one on the top side. And all you have to do is just wait here for it to be activate and head back up. And if you haven't noticed it already, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, but as soon as you step on a green ball, turn to a red ball, signifying that the sand is indeed moving. And this will give us our fifth silver star, which will activate the uh, pyramid, making all its sand disappear and giving us not a well star, but a green star. And what would usually be a dead end here, we can now easily traverse without the sand. It'll still take a little bit of time to get down to the bottom, but not too much. And it's much better than waiting for the sand to go back through all that dead end. So, into the middle to grab our third and final green star. And with that, we'll head back to the main common observatory. Where, after collecting all three green stars, we have unlocked the trial galaxies. The, some of the hottest galaxies in the entire game. We managed to recover all the green power stars and restore a green launch star. With three new galaxies. And I even I don't know what is waiting for you out there beyond the green launch star. But I'm not going to be getting into that this episode because I've already about 14 minutes and uh, those galaxies tend to not take a while. And I have a plan for them. Well, they tend to take a while and I have a plan for them. Since there's three of them, and I usually do three stalls an episode, I'm going to be doing all three of them in one episode without cutting any depth. And since they're three very difficult galaxies, it should be fun. But as for our last stall for this episode, we're actually going to be doing the second stall as it was intended. And like my uh, little rule, I'm just going to be... Thank you for the pain. I'm going to be going through the parts you've already seen as fast as possible because you don't want to see the same thing twice. Alright, come on, Pokey. Come here. Thank you. So, back into the launch jar that we used before. 
This time it's going to ignore the, uh... Well, I can still gonna get the... What are they? Star bits. But not the... Going to the launch star. Because why would I go back to the place where I got a star from? So there's a launch, uh, sling star in the middle here. And there's also a life shroom on the back side of this planet. But also, if you propel yourself to the... Bot the underside of this little rock and in the middle there'll be a rainbow star which is put just so for these rocks and I want to get revenge on you after your big brother back in the first star Indiana Jones style killed me so this sling star is actually kind of cool it propels you gravity manipulating style to this sling star which will bring you to these planets Oh, I thought I was gonna get to kill a Dry bones with a radio, radio, rainbow star. Anyway, here's the uh, main gimmick of this star: the fact that there's these fast-moving uh, sand tunnel things. And what you want to do is you want to get the uh, pieces of the pole stars. And Although it seems like it's going too fast, you can, well, usually, you can jump and spin to get uh, the way you need to go. And I did not bring the shell, so I can't get that piece. But you need to jump up, jump up here. Thank you. All right. Then grab the uh, green shell to go open that treasure chest. And you want to do the treasure chest one last because the pole stalls will appear right above it. Like so. And, pulling those along, there will be some coins, but they're not really worth it. Get to the last one and break it, and you have a choice to make. You never go green or yellow. Or orange, I guess. Now you might be thinking, well, green is usually easy, and orange is usually hard. So, doing that, I'll go the easy way. Well, that's not how it is in this one. This one, the color is uh, determines what method of travel you're going to be using at the end. For example, this side has a launch star. The other side has a pipe. And I... The, they both end up in the same place, but the pipe has more goodies in it. So I'm going to be taking that once I get all these stubbits, because I like stubbits. So yeah, it's actually the uh, yellow or orange side that's easier, and this side's harder. Because of these UFO-esque laser beams that will electrify Mario if he runs into them. So avoid those and head into the pipe. And, this is, does this, look, does, this, bleh, does this look familiar? Yep, this room is almost completely reused from the Good Egg Galaxy. Even with the same musical note challenge with the same music. And a very similar, but not the exact same prize. Where the Good Egg Galaxy gave you one life, this one gives you three. Now why do they give you three lives for a challenge that usually gave you one life? I don't know, I guess it's to reward you for picking the green path. But uh, that's all I can really think. Alright, and then you will end up here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, let's see if I can remember what you're supposed to do here. You're going to want to head to the right up here first where you find these uh, tornadoes with eyes and not just any eyes, googly eyes and although they look like they'll hurt you you can actually use them just like the uh, tornadoes from the first star although I think if you stay in them too long they will hurt you anyway, jump to this middle island for one up and here we have a thwomp and what do you do with thwomps? you jump on them and and what you do with thwomps, you you jump on them. And you get a life. Like always. And now, 
without any further interruptions, family. You can move over to this island, in this area, with a whole bunch of coins. And we do over here. Unfortunately, this side of the disc, the sand disc, doesn't have any paths. So this entire path was just for goodies. But, uh, whatever. So, heading back to the main part. Well, I guess that's one way to head back to the main part. To kill yourself, you want to head to the flip side. And, if you look, you see a star up there, but there's no way to get it. So instead, we're going to have to find a way to get it. You can collect these uh, lines of coins using these tornado googly eye guys, but they're really not worth it. So, flip back to the other side again, and this side will have a way to the middle. And I think these guys, because they have those extra spike balls, will indeed hurt you if you uh, jump into them. Anyway, you hit this button which will push all those platforms to the other side. And now, you're gonna wanna quickly run to the other side and get to the middle so that you can click the stop. And use quickly rather loosely because you actually don't have to be that quick. I mean, I'll probably get there before the timer is even hinting at being over. But you still don't wanna dilly-dally. We don't have all the time in the world. You just have a lot. So, grabbing that star will bring us to the end of this episode. So stay tuned, well not stay tuned, but look out for the next video, which will be me trying and probably failing a lot at the Trial Galaxies. Alright. So, a new chapter of Add to the Storybook, well who cares. I will see you guys next time at the Trial Galaxies where you get to see me fail a lot. Alright, see you guys next time.